this is a rear engine compartment door. We did a bit of that surface rust repair the other day. I've been clearing off the inside of it, bringing it down to bare metal. It's taken absolutely ages to do, and I've, you know, it's got lots of fiddly bits, and it's taken a long, long time, and it's not perfect yet, but I've really got a lot of the rust off. I had quite a fair bit of rust. My problem here, though, is this section. So this section here, inside, it's got some rust, light rust, surface rust, but it's rust. And uh, if I just turn this over, the door sits like this, moisture gets in here, by whatever reason, whatever, you know, from inside the engine or something, splashing up, water gets in here, it sits in the bottom, inside there, and it rusts. And it's got a couple of drainage holes, so at each end there's a drainage hole here, and it can drain out of here, and then in a drainage hole here. So the water that sits in there will drain out, but some of it's obviously sitting in there, and it's causing it to rust. I can't get to it. There's no way I can get in there with the tool, with a wire brush. It's just, it's not going to be feasible for me to take the rust out unless I cut this whole section. If I cut it there, cut it all the way along, and cut it there, and then drilled through the spot welds in here, then I could lift this whole section off. I could treat it, get it down to bare metal, but to be honest, that's not what's going to happen in this project. Um, it's, that's not going to work for me. I just have to move on. So I'm going to have to now make a decision about how to do it. What I've decided to do is this, and this is a straight bodge. I am going to tape up this drainage hole, tape up this gap here, and I'm going to tape up this hole, and I'm going to pour into this whole section some rust converter and sealer, which converts rust into an inert barrier, it says. I don't believe it. Um, I think what it'll do actually is it will create a layer over the rust, it will convert some of the rust, but the rust on the inside won't get converted. So the rust on the inside will stay active. Uh, but I'm going to do my best to let some of this soak in. Then I'm going to pour it all out, let it dry off, I'm going to wash it with water so to get rid of any excess chemical, and I'm then going to do the same process. I'm going to pour in some etch primer paint, and I'm just going to hope that totally seals off the inside chokes the rust as best we can to stop the oxygen oxygen getting to it and it's just going to slow down the rust and that's all I'm going to do and it's a bodge it's not perfect I know that the rust will continue from the inside out but I'm just making the decision that that's what I'm going to do the piece that I bodged a bit earlier um, you can see that the anti or the rust converter stuff has changed colour on this good bare metal underneath there's still quite a lot of unconverted stuff but you can also see that it's gone black underneath which is a sign that it's converted um, so I'm now going to see if I can just spray it off I'm not sure if it's going to come off so I may need to wait for it to, to dry completely and then sand it off or grind it off, you know, buff it off. Uh, but I'm going to try and spray it off, see if that comes, see if that works. Okay, so here goes. So I think uh, I'll dry this off probably inside, just get it nice and dry overnight. Um, I'll probably then need to sand off some of these bits of the paper off with the water because they'll be rough. And um, then I'm going to prime it and hopefully I'll see the old girl right for another 10, 15, maybe 20 years. Who knows? Maybe the rust will come through in about six months. We'll find out. So 
I've done the first coat of etch primer onto the deoxidized bare metal. It's looking okay. Um, I need to get some more spray paint into the internal areas, so that's uh, something I'll have a crack at a bit later on, but I need to let this first coat dry. I might let this one go overnight and uh, come back to it and spray it in the morning. And I'm also going to try and get some etch primer, probably by brush, on the inside before I do the final etch primer coat on the outside. I'm now going to do my best to seal in that rust permanently so no oxygen gets to it and that should slow it down. It won't cure it, but it should slow it down. And uh, my sealer of choice is this. KBS Coatings Rust Seal. Now this was recommended to me by Complete Auto Paints, very nice chap out there, and uh, he reckoned that that was going to be a good product for this. And the trouble is, how do you get this paint in there, like on, on the bottom of this and also on the inside of this metal? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and take this paintbrush, and obviously I can use this paintbrush to paint down in there, but I can't use this paintbrush to paint up on the inside of this piece of metal, so I'm going to try and bend it. I'm going to stick it in the vise, get my pliers, fingers crossed I don't break it, Turn that down a bit. Alright, so I've sort of ripped it, that's alright. So not surprisingly I've just split the metal here, so I'm just going to... Oh, maybe I could weld it. I'm going to uh, initially see if this works just with a bit of tape. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to weld it, which would be quite fun. Maybe I should just do that anyway. So I'll see if this works. And hopefully I'll be able to use this brush now to go in here and paint underneath there. I'm not sure that's going to be strong enough. I might use a bit more tape to strengthen it up. That might be enough, otherwise I'm going to weld it. But here it is, my little special brush. <laughs> engine compartment door finished piece. Looking pretty good I reckon. Nice and neat, all the rest taken off the front. It's got a bit of a dint here but it always had that and I'm happy with that. The back's looking nice and clean, nice and rust free. I'm really happy with the treatment that we did in here now. Uh, that's set really hard, it's got really good coverage of the rust. Uh, I reckon this is great, the hinges all come up clean. It's good, we'll put this to the side now and wait till we reassemble it later. <laughs>